I don't look at this floor. I've been sanding them. Now with chalk paint, you don't have to sand. You know, chalk paint doesn't require any sanding, but I went ahead and sanded them just a little bit to take some of that shiny, when I say I still gotta hit it right here, take some of that shiny finish off. Whew. I'm tired. All right, this is the plan for I'm trying to write, I know it's hard to, I'm having to write weird, so hope you can read it. Okay, greenhouse work table. All right, so in the corner of Jamie's greenhouse, we are going to build this right here now. This is just a plywood top and a plywood top. It will have one, two, three legs that are bar height. So 40, 40 something inches. I will show you all those legs in just a few minutes. There's a spigot coming up. Not, there's not one yet, but there's a water line coming up this corner post in her greenhouse. It's just coming right up the wall. We will put a sink catty cornered in this corner, a um, square utility sink, but a stainless steel one, not those big deep ones like, um, you know, with the ones with the legs, not those kind, just one square 22 by 16 or something like that is what we'll put there. Okay, so. It'll go in this corner. So there will be a, a, what I call a cleat. I don't know if some of you guys know what a cleat is, but it'll be a two by four screwed to this wall and a two by four screwed the length of this wall to the post in the building. Um, I don't have any, well, if you could see my work, my workbench over there, that one against the wall back there is a two by four. And then the legs were cut at the height that the two by four was put at on that back wall. But I don't, I, I don't really have anything I can show y'all. You'll just have to try to picture it in your mind. And if you can't, you'll see me as I build it. I'll do it in steps so y'all can see. What I will do first is build a three um well i'll start with two sides one by uh no i'll have to do this because i have to i have to put the uh -oh. i have to put the post in the leg in so i will take a one by six here and then this real long one by six it'll be eight foot long this long one here it's 10 on the back wall because it goes all the way to here but this will go into that corner that makes this a full eight foot piece just from here to here and the 10 comes in from the two foot piece that's here if y'all get if y'all can understand that i am not good at 45s and i've got to keep some strength in there for that sink to drop into so we're going to do it the way i just it's one and it'll be one big piece down here not a split here trying to bring a 45 together and making it work so we're going to do it this way so i will build this and this screw it together then i will take this one and screw it to this one so one two three four will all be screwed together once that's done i will put a leg here and a leg here and then we will be able to once the legs are on we can't even cleat this wall until the legs are on because I want to make sure we get it level. So once the legs are on and we push it against the wall and we put a level on it and we'll see where it's level, then I'll go from underneath and make a mark and I'll that's where I will screw my cleat to these two walls here. And then the 
the plywood will just sit down on top of that. And it'll be a 24 inch sheet of plywood. I'll rip the plywood in half. So I'll get two. They won't be quite 24 inches because a sheet of plywood is 48 inches wide. And when you use the saw, you're gonna take off some. So you're not gonna get, so I'll just have to make a mark, cut it in half, and one of them will be a little bit, I mean like a hair wider than the other one. You know, either this one or this one will be a little wider than the other one. And then we will um, screw it all together with the top on it. Then I will come in after that and put this third leg right here that will sit between where it'll sit where those two corners meet. Then there will be a support going across this way and this way right where the leg is. There will be a support here and there will be a support here. And then I will put a long one down the middle between. And uh, that'll give some support. Now her original thought process was she wanted a shelf. And when I said, easy, easy peasy, I can build a shelf under it. But that would have been if we had gone with straight four by four legs, but we didn't, we went with a decorative leg. So therefore there's no way for me to build a shelf between the legs. I, I'm not that good of a builder. So what I'm going to do is build a separate long, this is it right here. It'll be a long, like we'll do a one by 12 and a one by 12 and then two sides. We'll put a back on it so nothing falls out, but it'll be tall enough that, well, that's, this'll be it. This is a shelf and then the top would be a shelf, but it's going to be like a long rectangle box. Okay. Then I'm going to put, remember I ordered that box of casters a while back. I'll put casters on the two, on the four corners. She can, and I'll build it to where it just fall, goes in between these legs. It'll just slide under. And she can use it for pots. She can use it for watering cans. Um, she can use it for, she can buy some of those little uh, wooden crate looking things and then, you know, put stuff in them like gloves and seeds. Well, I told her she could put her seeds in those, but her seeds need to be, if she's not ready to plant them yet, they need to be in some type of, um, like a tote like this with a lid with, with where they can't get wet and they can't get humid and they can't get, it may even be better to keep seeds in the house. I don't know. I just know that you don't want your seeds getting any kind of moisture because then they will be ruined inside the little pack they came in. So this is the plan and I won't be doing everything tomorrow. Tomorrow consists of splitting the wood, basically building the table, building this L corner table. That's what tomorrow consists of. And the frame will be one by six frame and the frame will be 23 the inches wide. That way when it's built and the plywood lays down, the plywood will hang over like a countertop by one inch. Well, it will on one side, and one side's going to be a little bit less, but y'all know what I mean. Okay, so then I've got my list over here. Four bar height legs. Got them, check mark. I need antique white paint. I think I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with, uh, oh my gosh, chalk paint. I need a dark stain for the top, and she talked about um, epoxy, you know, you have to spread it out and get it smooth. You have to, you know, take the blow dryer, blow all the bubbles out. So I also said R poly because poly will, will just be fast and easy done. It's, it's done. Um, I've got down here a square sink and a spigot because I need to find a square sink. I've been looking on marketplace. I found one in spring but I don't know if I want to, but you know, for the cost of a brand new one, and this is going in a greenhouse, it doesn't have to be new. It's a stainless steel square. It's like 22 one way and 16 deep. So it's the perfect size. It's an undermount, but it can be mounted on. I don't know. All right. Love you guys. God bless y'all.